know what you're thinking. You're thinking, Tim, what's wrong with you? Something's different about you. Forgot to bring my hat today. Anyways, welcome here. It's good to have you. So I don't know if this is a new series we're starting. Uh, this would go in part with the uh, bottle opener that I made a while ago, a couple weeks ago. Basically, what it is, as it's turning out to be, is I feel like there's these items that are like, really popular that blacksmiths make. The bottle opener, for example. Well, today, I wanna to take on a hook. Every blacksmith makes hooks. It's just like a really traditional, iconic thing. So, I wanna do my take on it today. So, let's get that forge. Oh, actually, the forge has already started up. And we're gonna jump right into it. Hopefully, if the concept works, I'll again, make a small number of these available at the end of the video. So stick around to the end of the video, cross your fingers, at least that's what I'm doing. But anyways, thanks for being here, let's get right into it. So what I've got here is my material prepped. I've got three different sizes because I'm gonna play around a little bit. What I'm trying to get is I want this hook to look like a ball that's mounted to the wall, but it doesn't look like it's mounted, it's just sitting there. And I want it to be like super faceted and like really forged. So that's what I'm going after. So here they are forged up, these are the three sizes, and now I'm just going to let them uh, cool off, and then I think we're going to actually hand them over to Martin to do some machining on them. It's been a long time since Martin's done any machining, hey? Alright, let's do it. So here's the three different sizes. I really like this size, I think, but we'll put them on the wall and see how they look. Um, what we did is we threaded the back here and you can get these really cool, I guess they're like a drywall. Well, they're not a drywall. They're a screw and a thread in one. So half of it's like a leg screw or a screw and the other is just threaded. It's kind of an awkward way to say it. We threaded the hole so this just goes in like so. Easy peasy. And then I'll grab, actually I'll put them all in here. This is the bigger size. Oh, that's gonna need to be blown out. So you're like, hey Tim, yeah, I've seen these before and they always fall out of drywall. And they do. So what's really important when you're making things mount to drywall, as it turns out, we've spent a lot of time with this on other projects, is you need a bit of surface area. Oh, thank you so much. This is the last one here. Um, you need a bit of surface area that will actually like push into the drywall. So that's why we machine this flat spot on here. Hopefully you can see that. And then what we've done is we have played with like pretty much every type of drywall mounts. And what we have found is this company called Do Power, not sponsored by them. And these are crazy good. The challenge with a hook in drywall is that because especially with one point mount is that you're going to get forced this way and you're going to get forced this way and a lot of drywall mounts 
They don't offer support in 360 degrees, where this dew power rubber part, it does offer that, and these are amazing good. Just to show you, but these things are awesome. So that, along with this, equals a really easy and sweet setup. If you're obviously going into wood, or you're gonna hit a stud, then you don't need to worry about this. So let's go to some drywall and see how this works. Okay, so this is our test piece of drywall, and you've seen we've been testing lots of stuff in the past with different things here. And uh, we're gonna try putting in this fastener. So drill a hole here. That is the downer, you have to drill a hole first. Okay, stick that in there. All right, so we put this in like this. And then uh, screw it in. All right, there you go. Cool, look at that, hey? So if you have you know, a hard backing like wood, or you know you're going into a stud, you don't have to use that. But if you're on the drywall, then that's the option to use. But what I want to know now is, does it actually hold like what they say? It's like, this was a smaller anchor, so I think it's like 30 pounds or something. Let's put some weight on there, even though this piece of drywall is not supported very well. But let's try it, see what we can do here. These are bottle openers that didn't work out. Okay, so we're gonna try to put 20 in here. So that's one, two, three, four. Oh. <laughs> four. Okay, so we're gonna have to hold the drywall. You can put them in. Five, six, seven, eight, nine. How much weight is that? That's nine of them. That's quite a bit already. Dude. So. Oh, plus the bucket's already on. Yeah, the bucket's not much. So that's, that's 10 right there. So that's. 15 pounds on that hook right now, which is actually pretty good. Okay, so another one, two, three, four, is it five? What's going on on the back side? Oh, it's actually doing really good. Five more to go. The drywall, I can feel it in the drywall. Six, seven, eight. This is it. Impressive. That's actually crazy impressive. That's 30 pounds on that hook right now. So we're at the 30 pounds and we've actually been just moving cameras and stuff and it's been sitting here for like five minutes. So that's actually really impressive. We're gonna keep adding it though, just for fun to see where this one plug faster can go. So how many more is that there? One. So let's see, it's been a long week, you know? That's two. Three, four. I feel like the drywall is gonna snap. What is going on? It's starting to pull out a little bit. Okay, that's 45 pounds and the drywall is like gonna bust. And it definitely is pulled out. Like, yeah, it's definitely pulled out. But that's impressive. But yeah, it's still, like, I think it's actually gonna keep going. Like it doesn't, now that we can see the back, that's awesome. Okay, so that's 50 pounds. Can, can they see in the bucket how much weight that is, guys? That's so crazy. It's hard to see probably. That's 50 pounds, okay. Well, let's keep going. How's it look here? Oh, oh it's definitely coming out. It's definitely coming out now. All right, let's do a little more. So that's. Two, three, four. Okay. Oh. All right. So if you put like 55 to 60 pounds on, you pull it out of your drywall. But uh, I love the way this texture shines the light. The facets are super cool. And uh, I didn't show it on camera, but we actually wax these, this product and all the other ones we do so that it won't rust. 
So what you all get is you get this here, the hook. Nice piece of, oh, love that texture. Give you the hardware to hold it onto the wall and then also this fastener too for the drywall. I'm sure you can get this at your local hardware store, but I'm just gonna throw it in just so for sure you have that because I know that this is a really good one. Uh, I'll put the link down below. And then let's say like the first 100 people or so, you can buy one. And then this is a pre-order, so we should be able to, I'll probably just have the store open over the weekend, provided I get this video out in the next like 30 minutes. <laughs> Whatever, I'll keep it open for a little bit and then uh, we'll make them and then that'll be kind of the first run of these. So I hope you like it, I really think it's cool. And uh, I love showing you the development of this end of how we make things and whatnot. Anyways, you know the whole entire spiel because you've been around for like three years as we've grown this YouTube channel. Anyways, thank you for watching. I always appreciate it. And I will look forward to seeing you in the next video. Thanks for watching.